Hey guys, my name's Joe Beretta. A long, long time ago, way back in 2011 and 2012, the Hubble telescope extended its space eye and discovered two new moons orbiting our former ninth planet, recently downgraded to dwarf planet Pluto. That brought the number of moons up to five, and instead of letting the astronomers have all the fun, the lead researcher gave the common man a chance to play with the heavens. Tickling them. So it was put to a vote. The only stipulation was that the names needed to be consistent with the theme the other moons were already running with, which was the underworld of classical mythology. Pluto, as some of you may know, is the dark lord of the underworld, and already orbiting were Charon, or Charon, the ferryman who escorts souls across the rivers of the underworld, Nyx, the goddess of darkness and night, and Charon's mama, and Hydra, the nine-headed serpent of doom. And now, according to the voice of the people, joining the ranks of the dwarf planet's celestial dark family are Kerberos and Styx. Now, Kerberos is the Greek pronunciation and spelling of Cerberus, the hellhound that guarded the gates of hell and rocked like three heads, or sometimes more, depending on what book you're reading. And the International Astronomical Union had to change the spelling so as not to confuse it with a previously named asteroid. And Styx is the name of the goddess who ruled over the river Styx, the same one that Charon floated across with his soul boat. Now, I think we can all agree that when it comes to names, this is a this is a pretty sick celestial system. And just so you know, Kerberos is about 13 to 34 kilometers in diameter, and Styx is an irregular shape, about 10 to 24 five kilometers across. They're tiny, but they're part of the family, so please welcome them without prejudice. Hasn't Pluto been through enough recently? Oh, and one other fun fact for you, Space Face, Kerberos and Styx came in second and third place in the voting. First place vote getter was Vulcan, the god of fire, or Leonard Nimoy's homeworld. But alas, that doesn't technically jive with the whole underworld theme, and Vulcan was already used to describe asteroids kicking it between Mercury and the sun, because, you know, it's real hot there. It's real hot. So well, there you go. Hope you guys learned something and hope you're having a stupendous day. And I hope you continue to watch SourceFed because we appreciate you. And we're almost to a million subscribers. So if you haven't, please subscribe to the channel because we'd love to hit that milestone. We'd like to take you with us. Please like the video, click the sanitation for more SourceFed stories. My name is Joe Beretta. This is SourceFed and you are my favorite. Now go away. Don't make it weird.